All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the great outdoors. We are excited to be outside. We had some serious cabin fever, and we just had to get out. So here we are in the yard, and we're getting ready to worship the Lord. And I think God can, uh, cars driving by, we're waving to all these guys. So, <laughs> and uh, so we want to thank the Lord this morning. You want to pray with us? All right, here we go. Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful day. We ask your blessing and anointing on our time together. We thank you for our friends that are with us watching and worshiping, and we pray that you would just have your way in us. In Jesus' name, we all say amen. amen. All right, here we go. All right. Lord, I find you in the seeking. Lord, I find you in the doubt. And to know you is to love you and to know so little else how I need you oh how I need you oh how I need you oh how I need you Right now, it might be a little bit tough to think of 10,000 reasons that God is good, but I got more than 10,000, amen? So we're going to sing this song to him, and I pray right now, if you're having a hard time, sing this song to him, and uh, just let it come out of your heart, amen? Come 
Come on. Oh, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, my soul. I worship His holy name. I sing like never before. With all my soul, I worship Your holy name. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing Your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Come on, church. Well, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. I worship His holy name. I sing like this. breeze. I don't know if you guys can feel it. It feels great. Beautiful.
gospel poured, you sing it over me. You have been so, so good to me. Before I took a breath, you breathed your life. been so, so kind to me. Oh, the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm from me is the 99. I couldn't earn it, and I don't Serve it till you give yourself away. Oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God.
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the birds are singing with us out yeah. here. I think there's something going on out here. Something going on. I was going to go ahead and read my verse if you want me to. Um, so God really put this on my heart uh, about two weeks ago. I was talking with someone over social media. A lot of people reach out to us uh, just for little tethers of hope sometimes because they don't know who else to turn to or they're just scared or having anxiety. Um, but God gave me Galatians 5. And it was funny because mom, God gave my mom Galatians 5 as well. Uh, just, she shared it with somebody else recently. So I'm going to read this. Uh, bear with me. I'm going to read uh, a couple chapters here. Um, but I'm in Galatians 5, 16 through, I think, 21. It says, My counsel is this, live freely, animated and motivated by God's Spirit. When you, when you won't feed the compulsions of selfishness, for there is a root of sinful interest in us that is at odds with the free spirit, just as the free spirit is incompatible with selfishness. These two ways of life are antithetical. So that can so that you cannot live at one way, at at times one way and at other times according on how you feel on any given day. Why don't you choose to be led by the Spirit and so escape the erratic compulsion of law dominated existence? It is it is obvious what kind of life develops out of trying to get your own way all the time. Repetitive, loveless, cheap sex, a stinking accumulation of mental and emotional garbage, frenzied and joyless grabs for happiness, trinket gods, magic show religion, paranoid loneliness, cutthroat competition, all consuming yet never satisfied once, a brutal tem- brutal brutal temper, an impotence to love or be love. Divided homes, divided lives, small-minded and lopsided pursuits, the vicious habit of depersonalizing everyone into a rival, uncontrolled and uncontrollable addictions, ugly parodies of community, I could go on and on. This isn't the first time I have warned you, you know. If you use your freedom this way, you will not inherit God's kingdom. And so... What we as a family strive for is freedom, but not just the freedom of saying, I can go down, I can drive down to Southern California tomorrow if I want to. I have the freedom to do that. Or I can, you know, sell everything I have and hit the road, that kind of freedom. I'm talking about the freedom that happens in the mind. And what happens is we as people tend to live inside of our own mind too much. We live inside of ourselves too much to where all we're thinking about, when it comes down to it, all we're thinking about is ourselves. And, you know, we have always strived as a family to think outward because when your eyes are constantly like this, always turned to ourselves, we cannot see anything that's happening around us. And, you know, we, we have been really encouraging each other that in this time, um, not to just see darkness, not to just see what's happening in your own life, whether it's anxiety or depression, but to look around and see that God is moving and God is working in the hearts of his, of those people. And people that I never imagined would ever, ever give, give Jesus a chance have been asking questions and inquiring about who we are and what we're doing because they've had a, ch- a chance to, to calm down and settle down and, and, and experience uh, quietness. And when you're experiencing quietness, you have to face yourself. And so today, if you have just been bound up by yourself and bound up by all the things I was listing, crazy stuff, loneliness, depression, or, or even just selfishness, what would you say? Anxiety. Anxiety. Um, and and I, I just encourage you today to, you have the ability. It's like being locked up in a dungeon and having the key in your hand. And all you can do is just be in turmoil in that dungeon and God's like I have given you the key and the key is my son and in his, in his name in my son you are set free and so if today you just have been bound up and chained no there is a way out there is a hope and to get out of yourself get out of your own mind quit thinking about yourself so much and look to other people around you and um and and just just ask the lord you know how can i be set free 
And I know some of you are like, well, how does that, how in the world am I supposed to be set free? How, how can I do, it just takes a step of faith by acknowledging God, acknowledging Christ and allowing him to, to show you things about yourself and just simply saying, God, I'm selfish. I'm being really selfish right now. Or God, I'm really depressed. Or God, I'm really, really scared. I'm having anxiety. Or, or I don't really like people or whatever it might be. God says, just by calling on my name and, and, and acknowledging that in yourself, I'm going to bring change in your life. But you have to surrender. Change does not happen. Freedom does not happen without surrender. And so today as we worship, please join in. Join in with us. And we might be in our living rooms, in our pajamas. We're not in our pajamas, but <laughs> I wish I was in my pajamas. Not but not yet. After this, we are <laughs> pajamas. But, you know, you're in your living room. You're in the safety of your own home. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's staring at you. It's a perfect place to get real with God. Nobody's judging. Nobody's judging. No one's judging. And so um, just be lifted up today. Let's lift the Lord up. Let's lift him up first. Yeah. Because when we lift him up, our souls automatically lift. Okay, so let's worship. This next song is called "Awake My Soul," yes. and I think that some of our Perfect souls time. need to be to be you know awakened. So yes, let's just you. sing together. There is a sound I love to hear. It's a sound. The Savior's robe as he walks into the room where people pray, where we hear praises, he hears faith. There is a sound I love to hear. It's the sound of the Savior's robe as he walks into the room where people pray, where we hear worship, he hears faith. Awake my soul and sing, sing his praise aloud, sing his praise aloud. Sing his praise aloud. 
sing His praise aloud. Amen. Amen. What a song. Amen. Yes. Powerful stuff. You got to reread re- re- those words on that song because it's a sermon all in itself there. Okay. Thank you, Lord. So this next song is called Breathe Your Life in Me, and it is one we just wrote for the new album. And uh, I was encouraged to write it uh, by the Holy Spirit just, I felt, uh, a couple months ago, I just didn't feel like myself. I didn't feel uh, very joyful. I didn't feel very alive. I didn't wake up each day thinking, 
what's going to happen today. I'm so excited to to see what happens today and to live a good life. It just was gone. That joy was gone. And um, I wanted to be alive again. And um, so I wrote this song, and it's just about the Lord breathing his life in you, just like he breathed the life into Adam. And that is how we are alive, is by the the breath of Jesus. And um, I know that right now, I'm sure a lot of us, I'm, again, feeling like, gosh, I don't want to do this anymore. Gosh, I, I don't even want to live. It's so boring. What's going on? You know what I mean? I'm sure a lot of people are feeling that right now. And, um, man, there's so much that we can be doing. There is so much to life right now, even. We have to live in this present day, not looking to the future. Because if you look to the future too much, you're going to be dead in this time right now. You're not going to live it. And that is, that's a waste of time. And, uh, you don't want to waste a minute on this earth because, man, your youth, your your life here doesn't last long at all. It'll pass in two seconds. You're going you're gonna to think, man, what did I do with my youth time? Then just look to the future and t- waiting for this time where you think everything's going to be perfect. But you need to work on your today. Yeah. And... Um, because when you're older, you're going to look back and wish you would you would have done some things. Yeah. So this song is just about you. This is about you saying, Lord, breathe your life in me. Amen. So let's sing it. Lord, I come now. I'm in pieces. I am broken and I have my reasons So here I am falling on my knees And knowing that you can restore me So breathe your
Amen. Well, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for joining us last week at Easter. That was so special. And uh, today is awesome. Beautiful day. Can I add something? Yes. Um, I just I know that a lot of people have been asking us about our new CD. It's actually, we think we're almost completely done, right? So Scott's just fin finishing up the last little details, and it's going away um, for mastering um, this week in just about five or six days, so, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's really exciting for us. We can't believe how fast this season has gone. And um, most of the time, we are just ready to hit the pavement, like in about a, well, we're we're supposed to hit the pavement in about a, a two-week time period from now, but um, we don't know what's happening, and we just agree to it as a family. We're just trusting God. We're not worried about this, and because um, He's got us, guys, right? Yep. Yep. Right. But anyway, this new CD, we're super excited about it, and it'll probably be available um, digitally before we even have the physical copies in our hands. So you guys keep an eye out for that. We don't even know what we're calling it yet, do we? No. <laughs> We all have an idea, so um, we're just, we're not arguing, I promise. We're just I don't know why they won't agree on Scott's awesomeness. <laughs> That's such a great title to me. <laughs> anyway, you guys just keep us in your prayers as we're making final decisions and all that stuff. And, and um, But anyway, I just wanted to add that in there because yeah, people have been asking about it. Well, we're excited. Yeah. And, and, and also, one more thing, we... Well, we have not. We don't have a lot of other things to do. We're working on the album and doing other other stuff, and working on, uh, you know, doing these weekend uh, things with the the Sunday services. But we, the stories we always tell when we're live, we aren't able to tell right now. So we said, well, we should just do a little story time type thing. So anyway, I'm not exactly sure about this yet, but I think it's going to be like Thursday mornings at like noon. That's not morning, but. Anyway, it might be 10 or noon. I don't know yet. We'll put a little thing reminder on Facebook. But we're going to call it the Adventures with the Lack Family. And because our life for the last 10, 11 years has been an insane adventure of God's miracles and glory. And we have videos to back it up. So we're digging out all the old videos, looking at Chloe at this tall. And so we're excited to share that with you. But we'll let you know about that uh, soon. Okay, so God bless you guys. You Thanks again week. for joining us. See you again next week. God bless you, God bless you and guys. goodbye.